Um, and it looks like currently we have um, missing no Bowser and DPU over here. I guess that's the university themselves. Um, but shout out to Paul, first player uh, playing Bowser actually instead. We have armored as I believe Bowser and then Shellix, who is, or I guess missing number, who who knows at this point, but we have Banjo and Kazooie and Bowser, both pretty big characters, but uh, Bowser over here with the armor that's too tough to beat sometimes. What are you thinking? <laughs> No, actually, too tough to beat. Bowser has actually been seeing quite a lot of pro play recently, just because you have some of the Mexican players absolutely labbing uh, the crap out of him. So he's been seeing a lot of, a lot of, a lot of play. Um, it's really cool seeing him. Uh, I like, uh, you know, I prefer the big boys. Um, and so I think it's going to be interesting. But Banjo can be a huge threat. You have a lot of range in his kit. You have some really strong side bees, although punishable, um, like right there. Um, and so it'll be interesting to see how they play it out. Oh my god, absolutely. Already first Bowser. two first stocks gone on each side. That's crazy. I love some evenly matched uh play up right now. No, I like it. The pyrotechnics also. We got fire everywhere, we got explosions everywhere, yeah. we got animalistic behavior. I'm vibing with it. I really rock with it. And um it seems like we have a lot of banjo dominance right now. Um not a mm -hmm. hugely nothing that Bowser can't really come back from, but definitely playing really well around these grenades and around this range. Oh, they're keeping their distance now. Yeah, I think they're realizing the fire is taking a little bit too much. It's too much heat for the both of them, you know, so they had some distance <laughs> there a second ago. I don't know if they're going to keep it. <laughs> No, it's a little too saucy. It's a little too saucy. And I'm hoping that Missing No here really gets to, um, I guess, abuse that side be a little bit more. It's a really risky move, but it's against a character that's kind of hard to knock out. Like Bowser is just so heavy. That side B is going to be really clutch if they can get it off. Or just playing the aerial game since Bowser has... Oh! And that was an absolutely amazing combo. Oh my god, <laughs> love that. Love that little throwdown action. Get some... A bear on Banjo and Kazooie. They're taking it over. I know. That's what I'm saying. At the beginning, we had a really close match. Now it looks like a, a Banjo's putting some work here. Ba but Bowser, again, can turn things around pretty easily if they really tried to, right? They got that super armor. They got those heavy hitting moves. So if they need to get the sauce, then they can get the sauce. <laughs> yeah, no, that... I don't know if you saw it a second ago, but Bowser was there guarding that edge and Banjo was not... Was not gonna let that happen threw up a grenade and got bowser out of the way that was that was pretty clever if i do say so myself oh absolutely i love to see this banjo play style there's the Ooh, side view i was talking geez. about i like that that's what i like that is what i like and, and banjo securing quite a good lead for their team right two stocks up is definitely not something to scoff at especially in a crew no, battle solid. like this um and i'm i mean God, twos, I, I would just like to be on the team that's two up right now. That's that's all I'm going to say. Um, but can be turned around for sure. Um, we've got a lot of players left. So I'm not going to count them out. I'm not going to count them out. Perhaps maybe some casters curse will happen eventually. But I'm, I'm <laughs> predicting that DePaul might come out ahead of this. Uh, I think I remember, if I remember correctly, DePaul had a really strong anchor and that's something that's really mm. important when you're having this type of um, circuit where you're having a team of five and you try to use all your players. If you're, all of your players get used, you need that strongest player at the very end because that's where you need to save those very, very precious stocks if it even gets to that, right? And mm -hmm. may, I think in this matchup, we might see that because I don't know. Banjo Kazooie and Bowser was a little was a little unfair, but um, I do think DePaul had that strong anchor. So if they do go through all their players, I'm kind of thinking DePaul might move up a little bit. <laughs> it could be saucy. I mean, you you bring up a really interesting point here that there is a lot of weight into where 
these players have chosen to put themselves in this or like this pecking order right if you have a really strong anchor you might give them a lot of momentum at the beginning but if you can get that really strong anchor out you can start kind of breaking their confidence right smash is definitely a mind game and so if you can get that really strong anchor kind of whittle down their i don't know morale if you could say um and it really just depends right if both player if both teams have their strongest player out at the very beginning and they both get knocked out it's kind of just like okay well who has the better lead when at the end you might have knocked it out with some of the smaller players now at the end of the bracket you have your very strong player going against a bunch of maybe mid players <laughs> i think every player of those great um but you know have to kind of hyperbolize a little bit <laughs> right i'm interested to see uh who is going to pull up on uh depaul's end uh to match up with banjo if banjo decides to stick with i'm saying banjo um <laughs> if shellix decide or missing number that's what it was my bad uh missing number sticks with banjo or if they move on i don't know if they get to see the other team's uh picks beforehand but um who who would be a good matchup in your opinion against banjo and kazooie honestly like any top tier like like banjo realistically <laughs> yeah. the packing order of characters is not like incredibly good he's definitely not bad and in a level of play like this you know you can kind of make anything work um but honestly throw out a joker a, a pyromythra you know any of these really top tier characters that are just a pain to deal with no matter what pretty much dlc <laughs> characters right you throw out Sep sephiroth and any that's, of those how, people that's and you're what like, i'm thinking Ugh. yeah uh, so yeah. we'll see maybe we'll get some uh dlc action um, but pretty much somebody you can play safe and can kind of just space well against kind of the chaos that is banjo kazooie that's what i was thinking as well like what what's going through your head picking banjo and kazooie there was banjo and kazooie and duck hunt are two very interesting picks that i this is my first time seeing banjo and kazooie actually in a tournament like what what goes through your mind uh when you pick these types of characters hmm. um i would say that like there is like a lot of charm to picking kind of these niche characters right because a lot of people don't really have a lot of matchup experience banjo you know some yeah. people might play against him some people might not have that matchup experience so it can be a little tough but that's why i think is like kind of like the beauty of playing some niche characters also i mean banjo does have some really good um like i i really like down throw into like neutral air i think he has a lot of good combos but um let's get into the game let's stop talking about it let's watch it you know what i'm saying see what's for sure on. for sure Two, one, go. oh missing oh, number decided awesome. to stick with banjo and kazooie gotta lose that first stock first before we get things started yes and i'm so excited captain falcon one of the most explosive characters in the roster so fun to watch mm -hmm. and i think it's gonna be really interesting to see how these aerials play out um it's gonna be a very high octane um battle and i'm, I'm curious to see if banjo is gonna try to camp it out or really play aggressive here yeah no fun fact uh captain falcon is actually an og character from the very first smash game he has been in this game since the beginning so i kind of like it when people pull him out it's a uh, kind of like a little bit of nostalgia for me i know he's been in more smash games than he has his own games i feel like <laughs> they, <laughs> yeah not for sure f0 any love unfortunately but um let, it seems like they're playing both like pretty safe i mean trying to go for these aggressive options but really kind of just keeping the spacing up kind of just poking back at each other it's not hasn't been a lot of like super heavy combos so it's kind of just chip percentages right now but there we go. Get a nice Ooh. little kill off rip. Missing number said, I'm I'm not gonna let you have this that fast. I'm sorry. No, and I think that missing no is actually Shellix. I think we just got a correction. Um, which is swag shot Shellix put in some work as banjo. Um I mean, taking four stocks off with only three, I mean you've already done more than you could for your team. Um, and maybe if they can extend that lead a little bit more, get one more stock on the board, put a, um, put Queens in an even better position here. Nice little back throw. Oh, I'm sweating. I'm sweating, Kobe. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> no, you're sweating right now? No, dude, I t I'm telling you, no, I'm they, sweating a little bit heat. too. The heat from the screen right now, all the grenades and everything, it's, it's blasting. <laughs> hey, I don't blame you, bro. You got Captain Falcon 
doing these crazy kicks. Um, they got a lot of fire all over the screen. And honestly, I think that Shellix might be able to put another stock on the board here. He's got a few more no, side thinking. pieces left. And uh, I think that would be absolutely kind of iconic. Um, really get that lead solidified a little bit. And such smart grenade plays right here. Whew, Into that side see, B. That's what I'm saying. That side B is just some heat. Kind of missing each other. Good defense from Captain Falcon. Yes, how Captain Falcon put in some work. Definitely going to be able to probably edge this out. At 115%, it's going to be pretty hard for Banjo to really catch back up. But, hey, momentum yeah. exists. If you can keep up that momentum, you're going places. But 150% definitely is going to be a little bit harder to come back from than most. Especially when Captain Falcon's only at, like, 20. Yeah, and we have to remember that Captain Falcon is going to start the next match with only one stock, and that's almost oh two players for DePaul, right? And only, like, just barely two for Queens. Yeah, it's definitely looking a little... I don't want to say... I don't I don't want to cast his curse. I don't want to say it's looking a little grim. Great downbeat. Not sure how it connects, but... Hey, kind of it, solid. Did. Hey, it did. It did. It did, but actually a wonderful match. Um, and honestly, I don't think that they put themselves in too much of a disadvantage here. I think they came out here. Um, I think it was Turbo there, who's playing Captain Falcon, really came in, put on a great show, and still has one stock left going into these next um, uh, opponent, I guess. They're going to have three, but I think it is still doable. I think if you take a few more stocks off, I think it'll be in a pretty good position for DuPont. Oh, if uh, the little Oompa Loompas just sent sent us a cute little message, that was 222 damage. That was oh. this close to completing a brag for tonight. And that oh. might just be uh, the highest hit we've had, the highest damage percentage we've had so far in this mm. qualifier. We got pretty close last week. I don't know if we hit that brag or not. But uh, the brag for tonight is, will anyone get to 225% damage? Um, and... <sighs> We were oh, yeah. close. We were getting I would, there. I would be, I would be a little <laughs> pissed if I put my brags on it. I don't know though. It's really the first match of the night though. There's still a lot of time to get that 225, but I swear that's the one that's been so elusive. I feel like every time I'm watching tournaments, I'm seeing people up in 220s and above at least once. I feel like the qualifiers definitely have not been getting that high up. And uh, I don't know. I wish we saw it because I definitely lost a lot of brags last time when I went all in on it. Um, and say, so, yeah, I'm pretty down bad. <laughs> I know I'm trying. I'm trying to stay away from it now, uh, cause I or like putting in all my brags, cause it's it's looking a little sad. I did the exact same thing last week, but that lucky daily chest had me had my back. That had my back. had so your good. back. I, had your back. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not like see. No, uh, honestly. I go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> I was gonna say no. Honestly, my brag box looking like my bank account, bro. I'm is going in the red often. Uh, it's it's pretty down bad. But you know what? It's all for the fun. It's all for the gains. We're just trying. I'm just trying to make it big, right? And if you go no risk, you're gonna get no reward. I'm high risk, high reward all the way. Speaking of, speaking of brags, I think if we are gonna see anybody hit that 225 brag, it's gonna be tonight because these these are the teams that are coming together that I don't want to say don't have a ton of experience. We have plenty of people that have plenty of experience, but more like people that are equally matched that have been trying to get into the top eight, they're all back tonight, right? The most of them that are here tonight mm -hmm. have been playing in the previous tournament. So it's people that are like trying to get in small hits, the, the poking back and forth. So if we mm -hmm. want to see someone get up that damage, uh, it's gonna be today, right? I'm, I'm really feeling it. And let's, let's see if it happens maybe in this next match. Yeah, and I'm hoping so. And it looks like we got Captain Falcon versus Pikachu, which I think is actually a pretty interesting matchup. Although Captain Falcon has been seeing a lot more pro play recently, because shout out Fatality, the absolute goat, um, just went out to summit as well. Um, Pikachu has been a solid pick for a really long time, uh, and I think it's going to be pretty tough for Captain Falcon here if they do, if they don't got the sauce. Oh, oh Brad completed. Someone played Captain Falcon. Uh, fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Quick, quick update. Shout out Captain Falcon. Yeah. <laughs> No, I think this is going to be... I, I think Pikachu really can shine here if they play a lot off stage and play this aerial game. Although Captain Falcon has a lot of really good aerials, a lot of them are pretty easy to contest. M maybe not down air from a below, but pretty much everywhere else, Pikachu has a lot of really good options, especially neutral air. And I think this will really help kind of 
make it easier for this uh, aerial gameplay for Pikachu. Pikachu was kind of starting off strong too with that uh, eighty or ninety-eight. Oh, one hundred and two percent rage. Oof! Ooh. But too quick. Said it too quick. My bad. <laughs> yeah, I know, Cassie's curious, but we actually have a brag in progress right now. Um, let's see if uh, DePaul here can get this uh, one stock dub. I think it'd be kind of hype. Everybody loves the underdog story. Right. I'm going to tell you right now, Kobe. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to happen. Look at Pikachu sending out. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah. Not. It's not the happening today. The recovery is exploitable, <laughs> and, and Pikachu's neutral B can, it can definitely be a hindrance. But I don't know. I can see it happening with the max rage going on right now. Captain Falcon could start putting on the sauce. I've seen bigger comebacks. Pikachu's kind of cheesing with that with that move. Good lord. Yeah, see? Hey. What did I say? They hey, said, hey, I'm not hey, going to hey. win, and I'm going to win big. <laughs> I, I, I shouldn't have doubted you. I shouldn't have doubted you. Absolutely fire play. <laughs> I love watching Pikachu. Also, the green bandana is some crazy drip. Like, I'm honestly yeah. kind of jealous. Um, because Pikachu has some of the most fire fits in this game. Same with Captain Falcon, though. That pink and white colorway. I do rock with it. I do rock with it. Do you be seeing Zelda or Rosalina or Samus with their skins? Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. I don't know I about women. Samus. They are, they're so pretty. I'm a, I mean, I'm a Zelda man. I definitely rock with Zelda. Zelda's got some crazy colorways. The white hair with the black and pink dress. Oh, my God. Come on. Absolutely crazy. The brown hair, the white and purple. I, I know the colorways for Zelda. Fire. Samus. Ah. Uh, I love, I love Samus. I don't know if normal Samus got the colorways like that. But Rosalina do got the drip, I will admit. There's some drippy characters in Smash. I actually take it back. Jigglypuff has the best drip. She has a little hibiscus that she could put on. She also has a sailor hat. Should I bring out my hat? Should I complete I the think you, I fit? think you need to hey, hit the, hit the right. tourist fit. Hit, that, right. hit that Jigglypuff. <laughs> uh, okay, the Jigglypuff? Oh my god. Wait, that's kind of fire? Oh. <laughs> Whatever, whatever Jigglypuff says. Jigglypuff! No, that, I think that me, 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 was done. pretty good. No, no, that was fine. That was thank fine. You. No, I do like the hibiscus. That was like more Animal Crossing, though. I think. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, right, this, is, this is just a floppy hat. I don't have a hibiscus at the moment. I wish I did, but just flop, more floppy hat in it tonight. Animal Crossing, kind of the same thing. <laughs> the interview yeah. hat comes out, <laughs> yep. You know what this is giving? This is actually giving Doug Demodome, owner of the Dem Demodome Dim, uh, Dimadil, you're, you're doing Dimadil. great. Dimzel Dimadom. Mm -hmm. It's all yeah. right. You're doing great. Mm -hmm. You're doing great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You knew what I was talking about. You picked up what I was no, talking about. No, I rock with that. it. If anybody, I mean, if anybody missed the Rocket League game night, which I don't know why you would have missed that, we was rocking the Doug's, the Doug Dim, 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 Doug Dimsdale hat. Yeah, no, you're okay. Yeah, bless you. Uh, Awood looked iconic. <laughs> also, if you're not checking out our game nights, what are you doing? Also, if you're not checking out our new series, Braggers vs. Fraggers, which comes out tomorrow, what <gasps> are you doing? Oh my god, and Kobe, do you know who's playing tomorrow? Do do you know oh, who wait, can you, you know who's can playing? Can you actually tomorrow? elaborate? Who, who's playing tomorrow? Actually, I think it's you and me and maybe oh. a few others. <laughs> Potentially Kelsey oh from Bright House and Kayla the Oompa Loompa that's hitting it up in the back. Oh, Kayla the organized. intern. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, Kayla the intern. <laughs> I have to take this off. It's it's getting annoying. But that's it's all right. Know. It looked iconic Experience for the moment. That. Sometimes the Thank fits you. Look, only I don't have even to be have temporary. hat hair. You know how it no, is. No. <laughs> it looks like up next um, that we have you want to go ahead no you you see, that's exactly what i was gonna say you had it keep going <laughs> hey, it's all right we have missing note from queen still going in and then we also have Fim bull from blue demon it's gonna be an absolute iconic match also it's gonna be taking place on small battlefield let's get into it so let's, let's get, get into, into the it. vibe <laughs> As my queen Doja Cat would say, let's get into it. <laughs> oh, and we got oh, Shulk. Okay. okay. I'm going to be honest. I haven't been keeping up with my skins on certain characters, and I did not realize this was Shulk, but I'm excited to see how this is, is going right? to work. He's got the anime hair. He's got the, like, the black anime fit. I, I rocked with it, though. I really do. Now, we're getting off the match started already. Uh, I think, honestly... Shulk could put in some work here. Pikachu, obviously, pretty top tier pick. Has been since pretty much the game came out. But Shulk, I think, has got some sauce. Personally, one of my least favorite characters to go up against. Um, so let's see if they cheese a little bit. So let's talk Ooh. about this little thing he's got right above his head, right? 
we have jump this obviously boosts his jump we've got buster i think there are a few others that help amplify uh his moveset what does he need tonight to beat pikachu I would say that the most common ones are usually like speed, like the speed Monado is pretty hype. I see that a lot. Buster is just going to be able to put on a little bit more percentage, but it's going to give you less knockback. Then you got the smash, going to give you more knockback, less damage. Um, so there's, I mean, there's quite quite a bit of sauce. I think smash against this character as small as Pikachu is probably going to be the best Monado you can get here. Uh, just because, I mean, the next one... As you could see, the extra knockback really, really, really helps. But also jump yeah. helps a lot as well. You're not getting exploited as much from Pikachu's just really good recovery and really great aerial game. Right. So I think that's probably the sauce for tonight. Seems like they know what they're doing. They're utilizing those pretty well tonight, I'd say. No, they definitely know they definitely know the Shulk sauce. And I'm curious to see if they're gonna be able to kind of put themselves in a position of advantage here. Get an extra stock off on this Pikachu, kind of even the playing field for DePaul. And um, really get this rocking. Oh. There we go. Oh, that wasn't gonna be it. Oh Wait, my god! Oh, is this it? This is it. Oh my god, that was actually so nuts. That I feel like I rarely ever see people spike with that box, but wow, hey, if you can do it, you can do it. I think Shulk as well got got a little <laughs> a little confused there. They were like, oh wait, what just <laughs> happened? Um, but wow, oh my god. Missing knows really going in here, really giving them their team like a huge lead. But hey, that's the Pikachu sauce. Well, I, sauce is gonna be my go-to word for the day, just because I think it's so representative of all the characters here tonight. Some great grabs. Oh, Ooh, and there's the smash. And I didn't oh. even finale. Perfect. Perfect. Oh my god, that is some sauce. No, like dude, okay. And he... too. Check the turtleneck. She's in like that anime pose as well. I kind of rock with it. I love all the like the end game poses. You got some he, he's scheming, brawl, Dr. Mario. Hey, hey, there's a bunch of fire, fire fits. Or Dr. He Mario from Smash Bros. I think. He knew he ate it up. No, he, 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 he ate it up. Hey, if you were an anime boy. I love you know, it. Vibes. Um, wondering who's going to come up next for uh, Queens, right? Pikachu was on Queens team. Um, RIP missing no. Can't wait to see who y'all pull in next. That is going to be three players from queen's side they should have um two more left this is going by pretty quick i was not anticipating no, such a blink of an eye kind of match no but i like it i like the high octane gameplay i like having all of these stocks go flying fast i don't know maybe it's just because i have adhd and i get a little bored too quickly but i really do like very fast matches like we're exhibiting right now and it's been I don't know, pretty hype so far. I've really enjoyed everything that I've been seeing. We've had some really cool characters. I love seeing the weirdos come out like Shulk. And hopefully we'll get to see some more Shulk in the future. It's definitely a really fun character. Yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully we're going to see some, preferably some Bayonetta and Jigglypuff. So, for no reason other than they're just like really epic characters. <laughs> Duh. They're, um, they're really epic. <laughs> uh, something fun, just that I kind of want to not really expand on, but that I... <laughs> found out today kind of realized i have adhd you have adhd two of the people that i interviewed today uh for streaming also had adhd i don't know what it is about having uh this spark in our personality this kind of like interesting yeah. manner that really just makes us the great casters on this planet but uh just, just something just fun to know things. yeah just streamer just things, things. <laughs> what's it like to be no. cool? um I'm mentally <laughs> Ill, but yeah anyway. i was gonna say uh Cool and mentally ill. We love it. <laughs> it gives you a little bit of edge. It gives you, give your personality a little bit of that extra size. Um, no, but are, are you feeling excited for these next few matches? More so, who do you think is going to take these next few matches? Do you think Shulk's going to be able to get that one stock victory? Or do you think that Shulk, Shulk might fall? I don't know, because they were super quick uh, with... I forgot. I'm totally blanking on what that's called when they are able to like switch to... Um, the different power plays that they have um whatever it's called but they seemed really quick with it but maybe not like quick enough if that makes mm. sense and i'm a i'm a little worried about that but i still kind of have um belief in 
the blue demons this evening. Um, mm -hmm. Will the, will queens come back? I don't know. Uh, honestly, they are out. Right, I said three characters. That seems about right. Um, and again, they had like the blue demons were able to come up so close in the last qualifier, and I really, I really think they want it. And again, with that strong anchor, um, if they pull it out, it's kind of game over. And I'm, I'm really hoping that I'm right. But uh, that's that's yeah. how I'm feeling. Do you have you changed your mind? Where where are you at? I think I'm full send, and you know, DePaul, they're swag. But I think I'm full sending queens right now. I don't know what it is. I think I've just been I rocked with the Pikachu heavy. I was rocking with their mm -hmm. character picks a little bit more. You know, as cool as Shulk is, again, one of my least favorite characters to play against. You know, in the Monado switching was cool. But, but you know what? I got a little bit of beef now. It's a little bit more personal. Um, but, you know, so, you know, I'm going for queens. But uh, let's talk about it. top eight next week. I know we've teased it a little bit. We've talked about it. But we've got quite a few cool teams going into it. Bay State, our current seed one. That's what Sonic's. Fluffy, some other amazing teams. UT Austin A team. I think UT Austin's B team, which is also sick. Uh, University mm -hmm. of Houston, which is super swag. All the just all the Texas teams. Then we got the homies from MSU and also Utah University or University of Utah. Same thing. I I'm I'm so excited for this uh Bay State uh I, like everything that everyone they're going to play against, I honestly feel an eensy weensy bit sorry for it because it's just going to be so, I don't want to say unevenly matched because obviously if you've made it uh, to the qualifying, uh, qualifying for this top eight, like you're good, obviously. But mm -hmm. these are Bay State, like I said earlier, Floppy, one of their teammates, and uh, Sonics obviously went to this Las Vegas Expo and placed in the top 10. I'm shaking in my boots, if I'm going to be honest, if I'm on any of these other teams. Um, but I know I'm, I'm going to give a little um, a little tea, spill a little tea. They, they are worried about the Texas teams. The Texas teams are bringing it in, okay? There's a lot of heat. There's a lot of fire from them, especially UT Dallas and I believe the UTA team. Um, they go crazy. They go crazy and Bay State. No, they go nuts. Worried, but but these are my boys. I don't think they're that worried. They may break a sweat, but it's not gonna be that bad. <laughs> No, I mean, they definitely have probably some of the best players here in the entire tournament. But I will say that, like, the games last time that we watched them play were not incredibly one-sided. There definitely was some close calls. And I'm curious to see if the, the kind of the star players on their team can really carry that roster into the future. Or whether or not they might crack under the consistency of some of these other teams. It really just depends. I'm very excited to see how it ends up going. Because they are amazing teams like utd has been one of the top teams in the country on the co college level for a really long time um and also you got bangers like u of h and ut austin which are my boys shout out them but it will be very interesting bay state really kind of climbing the ranks here and uh with some of their new pickups including sonics and it'll be really cool to see where they end up but i'm i, I think the top eight's gonna be fire honestly <laughs> i think it's gonna be so I, i'm so excited i think so too are you excited to cast it i know you and combo are gonna make a comeback that's gonna be epic how, how are you feeling uh, about that I'm feeling incredible about it. Honestly, I couldn't feel any better. I think it's going to be an absolute hype top eight. I mean, it's going to be high octane. I get to go see all these players play at the highest level. I, I think it's going to be super fun. Uh, and honestly, I'm there for the vibes, realistically. Like, it Smash Bros. to me is a vibes game, although it is hyper competitive. Um, it's just good times. I'm going to be honest, it's just good times. It's what we were talking about earlier. You know, girls just want to have fun. Cindy Lauper would be disappointed if we weren't having fun. So in honor of my girl, we got to have fun, right? Hi. Um, Speaking of what would be super fun, if we talked about <laughs> maybe potentially Smash players that, or Smash characters that we'd want to see in the game, do you have any hot hot opinions, hot takes? Hot uh, opinions? That you want to see in here, yeah. Oh my god, that's very, that's very I interesting. Kind of I, honestly, I kind of rock with that. I want to see more anime representation. I know that we talked, I know that there's everybody who's like, oh my god, we don't get to see like Goku. But honestly, I'd like to see Naruto, some Sasuke, some Naruto yeah. fans. I, I don't know, that would be that'd be epic. Some Hunter Hunter representation. Awesome. No, he's so, uh, don't even get me started. Don't even get me no, started. No, dude, I got I the Krolo tattoo. So Come on, Krolo oh, tattoo, right. you know the vibes. All right. <laughs> All right, we got the drip. Don't even worry. I'll wear this next okay. time. Okay, oh, let's hit the anime fits next time. 
but in the so meantime excited. let's let's look over at the bracket that we got going on see where things are standing it looks like uta esports has moved up in the bracket absolutely uh sick um looks like they just edged out the titans then we'll see where akron and colorado state end up and then currently obviously we got the queens versus the blue demons It'll be a very interesting set and we already have had a very interesting set so far and if we're going off of seeds it seems like ut dallas probably will be uh entering into the semifinals against whichever team wins here Oh my gosh. You know what I've just realized, Kobe? If Akron <laughs> loses against Colorado State, I believe Colorado State has this player I have been dying to see on the playing field for no other reason than the player's name is Tinkle Binkle. And if that's not the best <laughs> gamer tag you have ever heard in your life, you're lying to yourself because I want to see Tinkle Binkle come out tonight and <laughs> play it up. Um, will that happen though? I'm not quite sure because I know Akron had, uh, they were really pulling through in the last qualifier, but man, I need some Tinkle Binkle action on Tinkle uh, Binkle is the craziest thing I ever heard. Tinkle Binkle is such a fire day. <laughs> I love that. Uh, so UTA one five zero for anybody who's curious. Um, super seemed like a pretty not even. Uh, I want to say close match, but it was a match, <laughs> right? Um, what? Uh, let's see. <laughs> I had a, I. It was on this. It was on my head, and then oh, oh, never mind. You know what? Whatever I had to say didn't even matter. Let's get into <laughs> the next game. <laughs> let's get into it. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Oh, dude, I oh, love King K. Roll. I love oh, King I K. Roll. He's so OP with that tummy this action. So he stays fun. on that platform and he slams you down. It's over. I don't know. Shulk, Shulk isn't looking good here for me. I'm going to be honest. I, I, it just depends. You know, King K. Roll is definitely a jugglable character. And hey, if you got that speed Monado on, which they have on right now, you can give him mm -hmm. a lot of damage really fast. Um, I don't know. I've got some bias against both of these characters. These are two characters that have taken me out in top eight here at some local tournaments. I remember the first tournament I ever went to. King K. Rule knocked me out. I uh, got three stocked. It was uh, it was pretty. It was Sheesh, pretty rough, that's kind of brutal. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, it is brutal. Don't feel bad about it. Um, but it seems like both players here are definitely playing a little bit aggressive. It seems like I think King A. Rule is definitely trying to play that space a little bit. Um, and just trying to get a little bit of extra chip on it just so they can confirm with some of these heavier hitting moves. I think Shulk's just trying to full send and clear that space as quick as possible and get on some kills, like right there. Yeah, that was, you said it perfectly. Uh, King K. Rule's using all the projectiles and Shulk's just not about it. Uh, and they're landing in those hits like it's just too easy, you know? No, and that's why I think the speed man out of here is so, so strong, is because you have a character that is going to be hitting you with a lot of projectiles and is going to be trying to space you for some of these heavier hits speed allows you to kind of get in clear that space as fast as possible uh and really just be able to put on some damage where you really need it against a heavy character like this oh, things are not looking great though i'm gonna be honest kobe i whew, i'm not sure it's if gonna man. last <laughs> Woo! yeah i mean it it, one hit from King K rule and that's it. But honestly, Shulk still could knock out two here and, and really put their team in a better, better position. Uh, so it's definitely like, right, Shulk doesn't have to get all three stocks here. If they get a few more, just one or one more, they're already in a better position. Um, so you're, I don't know. I... You're absolutely right. You know, I'm not even thinking about Ooh. something like that. But like I said, I'm, I'm kind of psychic and can see into the future and I... <laughs> I saw that loss from a mile away. Look at nah, him standing. King K. Rool let that chopper proud. sing. Yeah. He let that chopper sing. It was iconic. I, I love that move. As much as King K. Rool, I dread him in competition. I do really think he's got the sauce. The little crown is just adorable too. Like little small crown, big gun, like uncontested. Truly, uncontested. <laughs> absolutely um where are we with this i am so bad at counting there's a reason why i'm a caster and not a mathematician i believe mm. that was um not even gonna cap i have no <laughs> clue where we're at with uh players and where we're at number wise but um see i think we're getting pretty close and i'm excited to mm -hmm. see what's gonna go down in the semifinals <gasps> uh, exciting. Uh? 
<laughs> the semifinals. Oh, no, no. Not only the semifinals, the finals, which I think is crazy. But it looks like the score right now is going to be 6-8. Um, I think Queens is currently down, if I recall. Um, and you know what? I thought Queens really came out here swinging in the first half. Um, and it seems like DePaul's really been able to kind of inch their way closer and closer and closer and really kind of give themselves the advantage here. Um, but Oh, it looks like we actually have two players left for DePaul and three for Queens. Um, so... Ooh. Queens had that just, strong start. Still was uh -huh. a little strong. I was just about to say, I could see DePaul's win from a mile away, but now I'm not so sure. I am not so sure. Uh I but again, I'm still I'm still rooting for that um very last anchor to pull through. It looks like we're gonna have quad Five W Sean uh, for Queens playing up next against Faux Shizzle 101. Uh, Blue Demons. Someone earlier in the chat said we're not immune to uh, gamer tag bias here at Bragg House. And that is 100% correct because Faux Shizzle <laughs> and Tinkle Dinkle have uh, one and two. One and two I don't of know, my I favorite really names I have ever seen. I rock with WWWWWW Sean, bro. That's fire. Like, you only take dubs. There's no L's. There's no L in WWW Shan. Shan, maybe. Is that what we were doing? Uh, regardless. Yeah. Absolutely fire. I don't know. I rock with the name. I definitely have username bias. Gamer tag bias is real, and I think it actually affects your gameplay, right? If you have a whack username, hey, I don't know if you got the sauce like that. If you got something like a Tinkle Binkle or whatever, I think that's the that's what you need to really come out yeah. here on top. Yeah, I'm I'm really hoping we're gonna see Tingle Binkle come through on that bracket because God, oh man. So <gasps> oh man, they did they oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. Oh never mind. Breaking I lied. News? I lied. <laughs> no, not 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 quite. I don't wanna say anything quite yet. I can't confirm or deny anything. Um who said that? Never mind. Oh lord, don't I have too many things up. going on in my head. Yeah, I was going to say, but <laughs> three million things. I get it though. It's a chaotic tournament. It needs to have the chaos. Just lives in your mind sometimes. I get it completely. Uh, who did Sprite? So we have King K rule. So we need a fast player. Like, sorry, sorry. Getting back on. Uh, Super yeah, Smash get on track. <laughs> talk right. Yeah. Uh, we had King K rule who is going to be moving on to our next match, and we need a speedy player. Is do you think we might see Sonic pull up potentially in this next match? I mean, I don't know. Sonic is a weird choice here. I mean, not not inherently a bad one. You do have the speed to be able to close these gaps, and, but both characters can definitely play really campy. Um, and honestly, I just I just never want to see Sonic. <laughs> just, my personal bias, Sonic is like one of the most uninteresting characters to watch. Although, when played very aggressively, can be mm -hmm. super fun. Um, but I don't know. Sonic might come out here. I, I think realistically, we just need somebody who has some good kill powers some strong moves somebody that can clear the gap and also has a decent amount of health so that, or and is heavy so they don't get knocked out immediately against king k rule i think a fun matchup honestly would be bowser and king k rule i think that might last mm -hmm. uh kind of long that would be one of those matches where we wouldn't have to blink and then completely miss it because these have been going yeah. well, honestly a little way too fast in my opinion um but let's let's see if that happens in this one uh let's get into it that's full send that's full send and we got Cloud. Oh, oh my God! Wow. Okay. And so tell me about this matchup, Kobe. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I think this is a character that's pretty good. Like uh, I think you have a lot of killing power. You're pretty heavy, and not obviously not the heaviest character, but definitely has enough killing power to make up for that, and has got the, the movement. Um, and so I don't know. I kind of rock with this matchup. I think Cloud in general is just a really strong character. We've been seeing a lot of performance from them. Spargo, one of the best players in the world. Some would say the new best. Um, plays a lot of Cloud, plays a lot of Pyramithra. Um, so I'm excited. I don't know what's going on here. I was going <laughs> to say, what on <laughs> earth? <laughs> WWE Shan right. just kind of chilling. Hey, yo, hit a time. Yo. Oh, uh, we're having a little controller malfunction. No worries. Um, we're just... We're just chilling here. Uh, oh, uh, uh oh. Sounds good. <laughs> I think we're going to be resetting the game. I think there was a controller Whoopsie malfunction. Whoopsie daisy. Or wrong controls, something like that. Um, but we'll get that game right back for you guys. Uh, in the meantime, though, we can talk about the Cloud and King K rule matchup. Um, I'm, again, a bit pretty big fan of Cloud in this matchup. Uh, just a really strong character, has really strong aerials, and can really contest a lot of these hyper armor moves that are going to be thrown out from King K. Rule. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. 
I, I, I like it, but but the real question I think is Morgan is which character looks drippier? I don't know. Um, personally, I I'm a big Cloud fan uh, with his big old sword that he's got going on, uh, which will help him like keep some distance too with all of uh, King K's King K rules projectiles. But I don't know, King K rule was looking like a little albino alligator out there, and those are some fascinating looking creatures. I don't know if you've ever seen one yourself, but man. I cannot <laughs> say that I have. I've definitely seen some DK rules in my day. <laughs> let's hop into this game. Let's get this yeah. Let's get this money. Morgan's being a little too weird right now. We got to get serious, right? <laughs> too much albino alligator talk. Oh my God. The media 31%. 42. Let's see if you can continue that lead. 55. So, okay. I said oh, that man. I thought this matchup was good. Um, but then a media 80%. Um, it's looking a little man. sick. It is. Oh, and it's painful. I, I don't want to admit. I don't want to bite my tongue. But oh no, my God. No, somebody needs to call funny. an ambulance over here for DePaul. Man. Yikes. <laughs> Oh, hey, but that's a hey, that was just momentum, right? If Cloud can get that momentum on their side as well, we might be able to see some spikes going on. Even though King Hero has a really great recovery, um, although a little bit exploitable, um, still pretty good and get back from most places. But again, right now we're seeing quite a lot of damage get put on. This is very back and forth. One person putting on a lot of damage and the other person doing nothing. <laughs> the scene where it ends up. I don't know. I'm. I, I don't want to, uh, oh, what's, what's my word? Shoot, man, <laughs> discredit. I don't want to discredit Discredi Cloud, her. right? Uh, this Cloud player, but I'm, I'm a little worried that they're not used to using it against like such a hard hitting character, right? Um, they were really getting eaten up here at the beginning. They, they've kind of come back now. Uh, maybe the controller situation had them shaken up. Yeah. Perhaps a little, a little bit. I think they're getting they're getting back into the group of things for sure. Yeah, no, and I, again, I think it's just really trying to get that limit charged up and being able to maneuver uh, around it, being able to get the space that you need to, be able to charge up a little bit, make sure that you're getting those charges off so that you can be able to hit those hard-hitting moves against such a heavy character. That you kind of need those to kill confirm with. Uh, your normal attacks aren't going to work against this guy in a wonderful down throw and up tilt conversion there. Uh, really great. Oh, it's just getting kind of brutal. Time. I'm gonna be honest. I I definitely think that King K rule is is putting some putting some work, but I I again Cloud just needs one one kill here, um, and they'd be going into the next round. So I think it's definitely still. Po oh my God, with the shield break with the oh, yeah, oh, that timing Yo. was exceptional. <laughs> Man, and now we're going out of that with the Paul with three and Queens with seven. It definitely looks like the gap has been growing, I would say, pretty consistently with inside this matchup. But it will be interesting. You did say that DePaul has a pretty strong anchor. We're getting to that anchor. Um, Going to have to yeah. go through, I think, still three players. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that might be a little bit difficult, but not impossible if the Blast character is super, super, super strong. Uh, and I, I think if I remember, yeah, I'm going to say I remember correctly that DePaul was able to pull that out. Um, maybe I'm hoping that that player is in full health and ready to kick some butt because uh, it's it's not looking hopeful because the King K rule player is uh, is all over it tonight. Eating him up, spitting him out and not going in for seconds. Not that's spitting for him sure. out. No, no, he definitely being a little greedy. I like that though. I think the hyper aggressive <laughs> play style from King K rule is a lot of fun to watch i'm um, just going is, and trying yeah. to get those kills and just trying to get as much damage on the board as possible especially against a character like that who who can't be a big threat uh, i think kind of ego checking and being like you know what you can do a lot of damage but i can do a lot of damage and just seeing who comes out on top is when i think smash is that it's funniest fun funniest funnest <laughs> same thing same thing Sorry, but no but yeah I'm <laughs> Braghouse said uh, that shield break, that was kind of crazy. I don't know if I've seen that oh, yet in our uh, circuit, uh, but that timing is for sure. Like when you can get that just right and hit that stun, it's actually game over, right? Like we saw that just a second ago. And if you can do that, that's an easy stock. And King K. Rule saw that, took that opportunity, 
and shot him off stage, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if we're gonna see something like that again. I did, I did treasure that moment for sure. It was pretty iconic. I mean, you just—it's it, dangerous being on those ledges when, or not on the ledges, on the platforms when you're playing in Screen King King Rule. He has a lot of coverage onto those, um, and you know what? I'm not trying to get hit with that up tilt. I'm not trying to get hit with no backhands, no forward, and none of that. A lot of that too scary for me personally. Um, so I'd yeah. rather just not. Um, but I, I don't know. I still think that Cloud maybe have just has just gotten like a little bit of a shaky start there. Getting kind of zero to a hundred percent, it would shake anybody's mental at least a little bit. Um, and I think in a, a setting like this where it is a competition and you are competing, I mean, I would definitely be a little bit shooken up. I'd be like, oh my god, what do I need to do? You don't have a lot of time to really dive dive into what's happening. Do you think that this is going to be the last match of the night? I think it could be. Not Let's the not the it. night, but for these ones. <laughs> Queen and Let's that, get into that, it. Yeah, you ruined, sure. I, I had like such I, a dramatic yeah. transition Man. and then ruined. <laughs> ruined it. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's on me. <laughs> My bad. All right. We've got Link and King K. Rule. Yeah, that's a fire colorway as well. I actually love this one. But this is going to be kind of interesting. Um, just because Link, I feel like, is one of those characters that I don't see too often, but when played effectively, can be very dangerous. Um, yeah, which I sure. guess you could say about a lot of characters in the roster, but Link especially. I mean, it's a high skill ceiling character. Pretty hard to play at its very best. Um, but against a character like King K. Rule, definitely can exploit a lot of its moveset. Like that, right? Extra range. It's definitely going to give you a, a bit of an advantage. Woo. That was so close. This is one of our brags in progress, y'all. Is someone going to start with one stock and win the match? Uh, and I was thinking that was going to happen, but man, <laughs> I was proven wrong real uh, quick. No, and that's the three six now. W- not losing a stock, there's actually huge. Pretty much you just got free damage off. You got a free stock, and now you're going into the next game full up. You could honestly lose a stock here, still be fine for a final match. Two to three is not crazy. I would say one to three is definitely going to be a lot harder. And obviously, if you lose all three stocks in this next game, you're unfortunately out of the competition. Um, But man, it will be interesting seeing Queen's fourth player, see who they go, who they pick to go up against Link. Link can be a little bit tricky, not the highest tier of characters. So definitely has exploits, definitely can be exploited for some profit. But I am curious to see what they're going to do, what their solution is going to be against this Link player. But this is what I was saying, right? The anchor's been pulled out. DePaul's going in strong. They ate, they, it's the karma is what I'm saying. They ate him up. It's they said, karma. I saw what you did to my teammates and I'm not going to let you do it to me, right? Uh, and so they pulled through and kicked King K. Rule out of the ring. Um, so is Queens like going to pull up the same kind of mannerism, the same like move set that Link has going on the DePaul anchor or or not. Um, to be honest, though, three stocks against six is a little intimidating. Um, I'd be biting my nails for sure. I definitely think it's intimidating, but honestly, I think when you're built different like me, I would just go into it thinking <laughs> that I'm going to win. So it really depends. I think it's a mental thing at this point. If I'm that Link player, I'm going in, and let me give them the respect. I think it's Wolf Data is the Link player. So if I'm Wolf Data... I'm going in there full sending. I'm taking this dub. I'm going in and clearing house. Um, but that's just because I'm built different. Wolf Data, I'm hoping, is built different because I think that a, a 3-6 comeback is, is hype as hell. <laughs> that, that, that is pretty hype. Uh, it's something that I've noticed as well. I'm very observant over here at Bragg House. Very but um, <laughs> everyone is either like, I'm here to win it, or I'm here to have fun. And I'm kind of curious as to what these different teams mentality is. Um, I think DePaul is here to win it uh, for sure. But Queens, Queens, I think is having like a little bit of fun. They are in the lead a little bit. Um, DePaul, again, pulling out that really, really strong anchor, but Queens is, mm-hmm. Queens is kind of chilling. And I'm kind of feeling like they might have polar ends as well like DePaul's here to win but Queens is like mm. oh we're just we're just kind of having fun you know we're good but we're chilling okay I, I think that I think that's a pretty interesting take there because it's like okay is that you know if you're just chilling are they gonna ramp that up right and I don't know if Queens is just chilling mm-hmm. they might be sweating 
their butt off. They might just be going. They're like every single. They're they're literally inside the meeting room. Like guys, oh my god, he picked Luke. Oh, we gotta figure it out. <laughs> they got me breathing, stressing out. I mean, I don't know what their thing is. Or they could literally just be like, oh yeah, this is free. Literally sending this guy. We'll take him out one game. It's no worries. So it really depends. But it is interesting to see that. Like Brian sermons really are just like, hey, some people are here to vibe. Some people are here to play and hey you know i think i'm a little bit of both you know i like to play i like to have fun conquer and divide right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. have my i just want my cake and eat it too you know what i'm saying i want the doves but i also want to just vibe um i don't know so what what could be our predictions for the matchup against link i would like Again. to see like a a boss kind of like from the legend of zelda like ganondorf that would be kind of fun but he's also Ooh, super okay slow. okay so you so, want the kind of the is, meta you want that. the meta you you yeah. want you want like the 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 canonical fights you want the ganon versus link i'd like to That's see the exactly zelda, you know, what the, i want the family yeah. feud i think that'd be pretty interesting as well after any excuse to see my lovely zelda you know it's just such a good one right. oh, what a queen what a queen no, and all honestly, bro. <laughs> honestly and it looks like we're playing the next match on battlefield which i actually think is a really good stage for link um i mean i gotta think about it but i do think that like he can abuse some platforms um really be able to get some distance off be able to get higher up faster be able to do a lot of bomb drops um uh, be able to hit a lot of his i don't know more wide ranged moves like his up tilt um and his up smash and it's a B. There's, a, I don't know. I think you could definitely exploit some of the platforms with Link, but it just depends on who they pick it up against, right? It could even be a counter pick, uh, and they could just be like, "Oh no, we're just gonna cheese with some character that can abuse platforms like crazy." Um, so it really could go in anybody's favor, depending on what characters we see up in this next match. I'm trying to think in what ways, like I would want to pick a certain stage over the other. Like I think town and city would be a really solid stage for me. Like the length is pretty good and the platforms like come and go, right? If I'm remembering that correctly. Mm -hmm. uh, what What's like potentially the best stage to be on in a tournament like this? Uh, I mean, I guess it would just depend on your character, right? Um, I don't know. I don't play a lot of Link. I don't play against a lot of Link, so I don't really know what their, like, favored maps are. But I'm assuming it's definitely not, like, something like FD, if I had to assume. Like, Final Destination, you probably are looking for some platforms. I think any character that has some pretty strong projectiles, like Link, probably likes his map like Town and City, just so you can be able to exploit kind of that wider range, the closer um, smash zones. So, or blast zones, either. But So it really just depends. Uh... I would I would say probably a map like Smash then is, is probably or Smash Build whatever it's called it's probably pretty swag, um, but it really depends. That's Town and City is probably my favorite map in the game. So, oh, speaking of Animal Crossing, I'm so <laughs> hoping we're gonna see either Villager or Isabella. Honestly, um, a little bit more hype to see Villager uh, because they do have some cheese moves i i know that's this is a bit of a hot take but i'm kind of a fan of the cheese moves if you can use them wisely like nah. it's it brings up so like it, things get hot and heavy right the heat is on uh let's see if we get to see any of that in this match with oh don't get they it were, they were listening. Link, baby <laughs> they were listening hollow bastion's called by the way oh my god yo i love this i love this we do have the cannon I matchup, like or should I say the Ganon matchup? <laughs> oh, oh, but I wish I had my soundboard. That was pretty good, Kobe. I love that. I know some people no, are what can like, I say? rolling their eyes right now, but that was solid. I like that. <laughs> well, no, I did. And this is such a high matchup for me because I think Ganon, although consistently been charted as like one of the weakest characters in the game is so fun to watch in my opinion mm -hmm. especially if you can play super aggressive it's just very exploitable recovery and so i think ganon's just going to really have to go for some stage control here really just kind of live in the middle of the stage until he can kind of get a little bit riskier at higher percentages but i think really just trying to make sure they get maybe even a shield break off here it looks like he keeps chipping down a link shield i think it would help a lot Ooh, the timing is getting good too. Uh, I've seen a lot of our players tonight wait out certain edge guarding moves, and there was a good one on Ganondorf's end right there, waiting for uh, Link's boomerang to come back before he got back up on that stage. Very smart. 
Yeah, I think Ganon mixing up his... I mean, I think that's like one of the core mechanics you have to learn when playing Ganon. is like how to mix up your recoveries. Because if you just do the same thing every time, you're going to be exploited and you're going to lose. Um, we even saw a little bit earlier, Ganon was trying to recover. Link was pressuring with Bomb. And Ganon kind of like sidestepped a little bit. He was like, okay, wait for the Bomb to go off, then I'll up B instead of just up being immediately. Right. I think it's, I mean, incredibly smart. You're going to want to try to get back up on the stage as quick as possible. The timing is super exceptional. I'm also very impressed with the recovery uh, that this player is using. Oh, uh, yeah, but that edge guard, you. too good, too good. Yeah, a great little grab into an up throw. And the up throw definitely was putting in some work. I like that. I like that. And it looks like Link is going for a lot of these grabs, which I think is definitely going to benefit them but oh my god getting that close to Ganon can be scary as you see right there a crazy up smash super de devastating so demons are down with two stocks two versus five and uh, Ganondorf is kind of being strong though this is I honestly can't predict the outcome of this really no this I mean this really could be the last game of this set um it's it's definitely going to get a little bit intense here that's the joy and beauty of crew battles those that you never know um you mm -hmm. could have a link really go t just take both of these stocks pretty fast still have two stocks go into the next game two three and then wipe you know it really depends Ooh, and, see? It, and, we, and we might even get that we might even get that i can't oh now i'm getting really excited yeah i'm like getting super into this i'm, I'm like oh, oh my god in this great eyes peeled here. Speechless. Speechless. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my god. Yikes. Like, yikes, though. Up smash. Smash. Yeah, that is a yikes. But the 110% doesn't matter if they get the kill. It really doesn't right. matter if you get the kill here. And that. Ooh, There's one stock left. Get it. There oh, it is. There it is. There it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Brutal. He knew he could contest it and he did. He knew he could contest it and he did. Oh my god. Uh, we might see that comeback. Oh, we might see that come back. Oh, my God. This is the final players for both teams. We got Link going into these final games. Do you think they have what it takes to pull this off? A really, a, a, a literally a three to seven comeback. Now a two, three. What do you think is going to happen? I think DePaul is going to win. I'm still keeping it on DePaul. I loved that really super cannon fight, right? We... I got to see Ganondorf and Link go at it, and Link won, pulled through. We got to see it to the end. Uh, but I, I am curious to see, like, who it, Queens is about to pull out and if their anchor is stronger than DePaul's because DePaul's kind of killing it over here. Uh, it's, it's getting a little tough. No, and I am curious because, again, those anchor characters can be so, or anchor players. So let me give them some respect. They're not characters. The anchor players can be so important in a crew battle like this. And I'm curious to see if Queen's got that anchor to deal with this link. The link player also, just wonderful neutral so far, has been doing really good at chasing and playing incredibly aggressive, which sometimes I don't see from a lot of link players. You see a lot of kind of spacing out, but this mm -hmm. against a Ganon, nonetheless, it was a character that if you make one wrong mistake, you're getting up smashed, you're getting forward smashed, you're getting side beat, you're getting punished. I um, mean, I thought it was really interesting to see how aggressive they played and how interesting it was watching Link, because sometimes it can be a pretty boring character to watch. And maybe DePaul's kind of figured it out, you know, like you just said that Link tries to space it out, but being aggressive with Link is obviously working for this player. So maybe they've played with it too much and they're just like, okay, no, I've got it for sure. This is exactly how you play Link and everyone thinks it's this way, but doing it obviously more aggressive is actually the true and tried and true way to do it, uh, which is super interesting. I kind of like it when players themselves kind of figure out those uh, moves on their own and are able to use them uh, in a way that most people wouldn't think to use them. And it's the same mm -hmm. thing with, I believe, uh, Kayuza. Uh, they have so many, Ka yeah, 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 Kazuya uh, has so many like combos. And if once you figure them out and you've got it like down to a T, it's game over as soon as it starts, right? Um, mm -hmm. And I'm really liking this with the DePaul's link and I'm, I really think they're going to pull through on this last game against whoever Queens puts into the ring. No, I definitely agree. And I just want to thank everybody for, for the follows. We got the real C Dugs, Bobby, and uh, shout out to Nasty. <laughs> Absolutely fire response, by the way. Uh, thanking yourself for the follows. I iconic. I love that. <laughs> um, but no, I, I think you brought up a really interesting point. 
is there some charm and some benefit to not playing the quote unquote optimal way and instead of playing mm-hmm. your own play style? Um, which I think it, I think there is some merit to it, right? Because if people are playing against people that are trying to do the optimal play style, if you hit them with something weird, they might get thrown off by it, and they might right. it, it, like it just might screw up how they play. Like if you're used to going against links that are more campy, you're trying to get it. You're going to approach that situation a little bit different than if they're playing hyper aggressive and really punishing every single one of your recoveries, not only with projectiles but actually going off and challenging you off stage. So it definitely depends on what's going on. But I, I you know, I think it's a, I think it's an interesting take of like sometimes playing optimal is not what is optimal. You know, right? There you go. Sorry, don't mind me just putting a bunch of my channel points on to Paul for this final match in our channel yeah, you are cool. if you got it going on. Go oh, put your channel I, points in there. I just want to know who wins. I also want to know who they play. The last player from Queens could go some crazy pick that I'm like super hyped for. Yeah. Because there's a lot of there's a lot of high octane characters. I'm super excited for it. it. Looks like we got OB Slice going in um against Wolf Data again. I'm God, I'm excited, and it looks like we're going to be playing this the final match of the set on small battlefield. Man. Watch it be someone like Olimar. <laughs> I haven't seen Olimar in a hot hey! minute, which, yeah, right? Like, we're going to see some Pikmin, oh, and we've got just, like, boomerangs and arrows being thrown from Link, and then Olimar just being like, hey, hey, get back. Hey, you're back. Yeah, I, I rock with that heavy, bro. Olimar is such a goon, especially if you use Alf. Like, Alf is a hyper goon. Like, the, the, they got, like, literally an army with them. Like, I think, it's, I think it's swag. I think it's swag. It would be cool. I don't think it's going to happen, but, hey, I could be proved wrong. I'd love to see some Olimar gameplay. They were listening. They were listening last time. You saw that Link and Gandorf matchup. They're just waiting for Mizzle Wizzle to say something, and then they're going to pick, all right? So I said Olimar. They're about to bring Olimar into the ring. <laughs> oh, for real, bro. Mizzle Wizzle told, told me to get him, so I got him. I get it. They understood the assignment. Let's see if they understand the assignment again in this next match. God, I'm excited. It's I don't know. The finals of all of these it just get me so gassed up, and I, I, I get too anxious. I'm like, let's just get in the game already. I just want to see who wins. Please let me see who wins. Um, and this is uh, this is destroying me mentally. <laughs> this weight. Uh, I wanted to give a really quick uh, bracket update. It looks like UT Dallas is going to the semifinals. So whoever wins between DePaul and Queens right now is going to be facing UT Dallas, uh, which is super interesting because this is going. This is what we've been keeping our out. This is what I've been keeping my out for, right? Because this is who uh, Sonics has been worried about. This is what I think homies from MSU have also been worried about. Um, I'm thinking we're going to see UT Dallas in the finals tonight. Uh, who knows, though? DePaul really coming coming through strong with that link. Um, but UTD, I need to see uh, who all they have for characters. Um, not positive there, but I'm excited for that. And I think we said this earlier, but UTA Esports Club ended up moving to the semifinals as well. And they will play against either the University of Akron or CSU, where... Uh, I believe my home dog Tinkle Binkle is. Um, Tinkle Binkle the boy. <laughs> Tinkle Binkle the boy. Uh, hoping to see them come through, but we'll see. Um, things are getting spicy. I am so excited. Speaking of being ex- oh, speaking of getting excited, like I said, <laughs> let's see this next match and see who takes it home. All right, bring well, us in and let's see the grand reveal. Wolf, oh my God. Okay, this is hype. I'm a huge Wolf fan. He's got the down B to help kind of reflect a lot of these projectiles. It's going to be an interesting matchup. And both players, if we see Link play as aggressive as he's been playing, I think we're going to have a really interesting match on our hands. Oh my God. Setting up the bomb prematurely. I love that. They got to be quick with it. Quick and clever with the... Uh, laying all those breadcrumbs, right? Snake does it. Now Link's doing it. Very excited. No, and again, uh, this really could be a game for for uh, DPU here. I would be so impressed if we really get that comeback again. Three seven comeback. The anchors are so important though. And Wolf, not a weak character. I would argue, no. proven to be very strong with character like players like CDK, really revolutionizing kind of the Wolf gameplay. But oh my God, Link getting that first kill off here, making it two two. Yikes. Oh, yikes, exactly. Also, quick shout out to the pink. I think Queens has kind of been rocking the pink on some of their characters tonight. Greatly appreciated. Uh, happy Women's History Month to all my ladies out there watching and following, right? 
<laughs> oh, facts. Wait, I didn't even notice that. Wait, that is kind of swag. Yeah, Observant over here, I'm telling you. Man. <laughs> man, no, you actually are, bro. Nothing's getting past you, and it seems like nothing is getting past this wolf right now. Looks like we've got a pretty aggressive place out coming on. I think they might be getting used to the matchup a little bit more. But again, I mean, only slightly ahead right now. 30% uh, lead, 15% lead is not a crazy one. Um, Oh, He's but a just wonderful punish! Oh, yeah. When it looks like a miss. Oh, great tech there! Oh, it no. Looks like Link could not recover there. Oh my God, this is really going to be going down to the wire here. Oh, a little revenge, it. right? Oh my God, last stock zero zero oh, of the entire set. Whoever takes this next stock takes the entire set for their team and it inches them closer to semifinals. They're both being super aggressive right now. You notice that they're staying super close. They're like, this is it. I'm taking it home. It's for me. It's for me. It's for me. It's, you know, back and forth. Uh, I wouldn't want it any other way. And God, it's so interesting to see how well Link is still being able to throw in these projectiles into this fast octane kind of play style. Um, I, it, you can tell that things are kind of slowing down. People are a little bit more wary of their percentage. And oh my God, that's a 90% oh. recover. Oh my Whoa! God. The frame two with the no one down way. Beat. Oh my god, that down smash was incredible. Looks like Queens takes it, but oh my god, was that a close set. And oh my no god. G, no geez, way. that was incredibly close. My hair is messy because I was like this the entire match. Oh my <laughs> no, literally, god. my hands right now, I've got like my nails dug into my fists. I, I was, oh man. I am no longer betting. I'm not a betting woman. I'm not a predicting woman. I am no longer putting my channel points on anything. I'm no longer putting my brags on anything. <laughs> I am a sore loser. Goodness. Queens really pulled through. That was so unpredictable. That was crazy. Strong anchor for them. But no, props to the link for just slicing and dicing through all those stocks right until the very end. Crazy. No, Wolf Data actually went nuts. Wolf Data, I, I need you to know that you you popped off. That literally taking six stocks by yourself, almost a seventh for the W is insane. And I, you know, that's what we wanted to see. Uh, shout out to the new people that for the followers. We got Ego and Andy, absolute goats. Um, and for anybody who just tuned in and didn't get to see the last set that we just had go on, we had DePaul, Blue Demons versus Queens. Queens barely edged out 1-0 in that last fight. And oh my god. Now it looks like we got UTD versus Queens in the semifinals. And then whoever wins between Akon and Colorado State is going to be going up against UTA. And then wow. I'm I am so just, heavy. Oh. We got to take a break. Uh, we'll be right back so Kobe and I can catch our breath. Uh, yeah, don't go anywhere, guys. We'll see you soon. <laughs>